Oh hi, it's Bukai, and welcome back to another of our solo Let's Play challenge for Eidolon. And unfortunately, the internet's still not fixed, so as you can see, it's been sitting for one day and ten minutes. But we've reached level 69. <laughs> nice. So we've done the peak gaming quest yesterday on there, and we have picked up a couple of extra stamps. And I go down here, because I realize I've been neglecting these hard. I don't know why they've just been... Backburned for alchemy when, you know, this stuff here, I should have been investing some money in. I'm getting some decent money. And it gives me decent bonuses, like almost on par with the actual alchemy on there with its power gain and over time. So I kind of go through and I see what is cheaper, what can I actually produce into, and what should I be dumping on. And I realize that, oh, look, I can increase my catching efficiency, my crystalline, and a whole bunch of other stuff on here. Just... I've been ignoring it and it's been dumb on there. So I think this should be a little bit of a priority as well as uh, doing the Zows. I think I'm going to be sitting on the Mothi Osos for the next bit in order to get the Zow stack for them and the chance of getting that string bludgeon recipe. But then I think for the next little bit on the future, I'm probably going to be planning to move to working on my stamps. So as you can see, I've now moved my catching uh, based catching efficiency past where my catching level is just going right through the different skills and whatnot just to see what I can level up and there's not not too much more as I don't have very many resources left and yeah it's gonna be a little bit before I can start to reinvest in towards the actual stamps. So I'm just looking through all my cards to see where the best spot to go to is, and I do decide to go back to the Mafiosos, just considering that String Bludgeon recipe is just so important on there to actually hit. It's, it's needed. There's no real questioning it, even though I do question whether I should keep getting more crab cakes for the nougats and whatnot, but it's here that I notice that, oh... I actually need bullfrog horns. I don't have enough for that post office and I don't want to lose this streak. So I decide to end up using my teleport rather than running all the way down there because, you know, you get one teleport a day. Why not? Why not use it? If you don't use it, it gives you nothing. So yeah, I figured I might as well just use it considering I believe I have that bribe already. Now, the one thing that I hate about bullfrogs is the fact that their spawn rate is utter garbage it doesn't matter what level you are on there you can actually it does really but you will hit the spawn cap or the damage cap stupid fast on these guys like you can hit the damage or not i mean technically you can hit the damage cap by then but by level 30 you hit the spawn cap and you will have a long time of just standing still as a result that the bullfrogs just have a very very long time on there to actually farm like as you can see this the whole time I've been talking, and it hasn't spawned yet. Just flat out annoying on there, and he needs to. There he goes, finally. They need to... I think Lava needs to improve on the actual bullfrog respawn. Granted, I did just murder them all at once with Mocking Shout, but at the same time, it's... Like, it doesn't require much damage to one-shoot them. I'm hitting them with 3,000 damage, 4,000 damage on there. Damages that are pretty fairly easy to hit for people. And it's just... You're at the damage cap, you hit the, a, um, from the damage cap, you hit the spawn cap very early. Like, it's possible to hit this thing at level 30. Actually, I even think it's possible to hit before you even get your secondary class. Like, it's, their spawn rate is just way too low. Uh, especially for, I remember when they were just, thankfully, Lava has fixed the post office order, because there, there were times where I had, like, get 35,000 of these bullfrog horns. And it's like, great. I've got to put all my guys, every single one, to go sit on the actual bullfrog horns. And you don't make it. Uh, it was just put the silver pen on it on there. And then, you know, you kept that stockpile. Then you would get it again. And you'd be getting them early too. Like, thankfully he's fixed. He has fixed the actual post office to not go off of just the raw number but to go off of streak, because before it went off of your total. I am still curious whether people are enjoying this post-commentary where I talk over the actual footage after the fact on there. I'm not 
100% sure whether people like it this way or whether they like it the other way where I did the live recording and kind of told you what I was doing and what my thought processes were at the like at the exact moment or whether people like the recap style where I recap what was underneath my mind and what I'm going forward with and what my decisions are going to be. Just if you guys could let me know in the comments below on there, that would be just most helpful. Other than that, I think I'm going to be doing a cut here, just simply be considering I am sitting on bullfrogs for quite a while. Like, I think I left this on running until the point that my computer started chugging because I was hitting the actual cap on my actual SSD. Actually, it's not even an SSD. It's an HDD. I'm poor. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to do a cut here and we'll be back with the next part of the actual bullfrogs on there for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Now, to go back to this, though, we've been still on these stupid frogs on there. And I'm starting to feel like God, considering I'm stuck on the second frogs as, oh, these guys are so slow. And I do not miss having to farm them for the Amarok uh, boots underneath there or the, what was it? The Amarok pants or something like that. One of the two where you needed like a thousand of these bullfrog horns, or even to unlock the tier two. Just annoying on there. But you're never done. You're never done, are you? And I have a feeling I'm going to want to actually leave my account AFK overnight at bullfrogs at one point, or at a couple points on there. Just simply be considering, I have a feeling this is going to be the hardest Zao to actually build up. So doing it now when my internet is probably... is doing taking a crap is probably not a bad idea considering if you looked at the beginning of the video i have one day and 10 minutes so it might be a decent idea to start doing that now till the internet issue starts getting solved because i can actually build up the time when it's not going to be frustrating because if my internet's actually starting to work and i'm able to go back multiple times a day so it might actually be a good idea for the next uh, couple videos to come back to it but we'll see we'll see what happens on there what my decisions are uh, I know I don't do it in this video. I sit on frogs and then I go back to mafiosos. Or actually, this video, no, I sit on frogs the whole time considering I did forget to hit record. I do go back and go and end AFKing at the mafiosos. Yeah, so this video has been going on for a tad bit on there and I think that it's a good time to end the video here. If you guys have been enjoying it, then please don't hesitate to give it a like, a subscribe, Pass it off to your friends. If you hated it, pass it off to your enemies out of spite. And if you guys are interested, I have a little coffee shop down in the link below where you can buy me a coffee if you wish. And thank you to the people that have donated so far. Honestly, I, I'm i still blown away that people have and people are. But you know what? Thank you. <laughs> thank you from the bottom of my heart. I still don't partially believe that this is real. But, you know, I'll end it here. So take care, everyone.